Hey, you know, as always, I'm always messing. But I've just, I've, I've done this in the past with my old Matthews no cam. And I'm going to tell you what just triggered this for me to try this again. Oh, and I, I just, I'm, I'm liking it. And I don't think I'm going to take it off. So I've been out shooting. I've normally shooting a lot, more than most people. You know, I always use the NAP flippers. Oh, I was shooting, freaking flipper arm just broke off, which wear and tear stuff breaks. Just snapped off right at the bend, which makes sense. Nothing lasts forever. You got to replace it. But what if that happened when I was shooting at something or I'm in the woods and I don't carry a replacement, which I do. I got like two in my pack. So I always have them, but it's still the mindset of how can I make this bulletproof? So putting this puppy back in the bow box, I'll show you what I've done. And I did not video all of my setup and tinkering with this because it would just be a dramatic archery soap opera of mine that is, is a constant, <coughs> a, a constant rise. But I, I, so far I like this. Check that out. The Whisker Biscuit Cut Down. <coughs> I had this on my Matthew Snow Cam. It's an older, it's an old school one. Just take your biscuit, get a pair of side cuts, snip it. Put it on there at an angle so it don't interfere with your sight picture. And I adjusted this, my left and right, where I was hitting good. I shot a bare shaft pretty, pretty straight. I mean, pretty happy with it. And then uh, shooting my fletched arrows. I just shot one at 50 yards. I came in here and I started this video. My last arrow at 50 was on the money. I, and I was out there talking to myself. I was like, holy shit, dude. I ain't taking this off my bow. So if you guys have never done it and you want something bulletproof, but there are some things you gotta, you're gonna have, people are gonna ask questions about and I'll cover that here in a second. So here, let's get into this. So there's the arrow sitting on there. There's looking down at this don't interfere with me at 50 yards. All this comes up into my vision, but I, I don't know about any of you guys, but when I look at something, when I'm looking at my target, I can see through all of this. I can still see it all, but it's like I see straight through it. It don't block my vision unless I get something like my hand, and the grip, I mean, that's pretty fat and wide. It's hard to get that double vision look to look through it, if you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, this this is awesome. And some of you guys say, well, biscuit's noisy. So I've already been testing that. So when I draw back, do you hear them in there getting into it? They're having nerf battles. So you say it's noisy? Imagine there's like a big buck about 10, 15 yards or coyote, whatever, and you want to draw on him. I, I even do this with the, the flipper rest. I, I don't think I've showed you guys, but when I draw back, I'll throw my finger under there. Raise it up to where it don't make any noise and set it back down. Which I never shoot with that bill right there because I can't. That's the way to eliminate the noise. But I was gonna take a couple shots here. I'm gonna actually try to set you up here so you can see the sight picture. Let's see if we can do this. Just like you would be shooting it. Thank you. 
I don't know if that worked worth a crap. It felt weird. But anyway, dude, this tune's so good. So good. And uh, I'm shooting 340 full length gold tips with 125 grain points and a 50 grain fact weight on the back of the insert. And that's it. My arrows are right around 514 grains. Dude, it just. I ain't taking that off because that's. That's more bulletproof than NAP flipper rest. And for what them things are, they're pretty expensive. And I'm glad it didn't break when I was out, when I drew on any of these deer. But whatever. I've shot them for years. I still like them, but I don't know. It just sparked me today that I needed to try this in a, or this, uh, the biscuit cut down. And you cut that down, dude. You, you got another half for another for another day or set up your other bow with a biscuit cut down it's pretty awesome well that's all i got for you that's my new thing and it it's bulletproof and it it works great dude i don't think i'm taking it off but you never know with my soapbox archery lifetime of of, of tinkering and archery passion fulfillment. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. We'll do some shooting with this outside on another video. But if you got a biscuit laying around, get you some side cuts, buzz them off, position it however you want. You can rotate this to where it's flat or sideways to where it don't interfere with your sight picture. And, and there you go. It's freaking awesome. Catch you on the next one.